Hey guys, Ty here. So when I received an email from Rifkat, the VRE to developers, the apps that let you use your Oculus Quest, uh, your Oculus Go, or your mobile phone, for example, as a Steam VR headset and let you use all your Steam VR library directly in there. Granted that you have a powerful PC enough to do it. I got very, very excited. It was actually just a regular newsletter. So probably you received it too about the new game warp, uh, a new beta that let you use regular games also on the Oculus Quest or Oculus Go or your mobile phone, like we said before. My mind went directly to Vorps, this old application that, by the way, has always been updated and is still amazing right now, that translates like a regular games directly in the VR counterpart. So you're able to get in, having a stereoscopical view, having sense of depth, having real 3D, and sometimes also 6D you have. So the possibility to move inside the game and move your head uh, without getting dizzy in any way. Uh, well, I thought that game work was like that. Instead, it's something a little different, but it's for sure a great addition to this program if you already own it, uh, because now you're able to also use regular PC games and use your controllers in VR to actually move in there instead of using mouse and keyboard or an Xbox controller but at the same time is not as deep as Forbes. So uh, let's jump right in and let's discover this new update that by the way is a beta and let's talk about how this can get better and what to expect from the future. Uh, this is not sponsored by any mean, by the way. I just was excited and I wanted to make a video and then I got a little disappointed. So uh, I, I, I decided to make a video anyway. So you know what you are going to buy in case, try in case or skip in case. Let's get into it and let's see how it works and why it's so excited and why it's a little disappointed as well at the same time. Okay, here we are. So first thing to do is, of course, to prepare everything. We're going to need a PC powerful enough to play our games and Oculus Quest that is over here ready to rock. And of course, RiftCut and to install RiftCut also on the Oculus Quest. Uh, everything is very easy and straightforward. For RiftCut, we go on the website over here, we play, we click on download and then uh, after downloading, we can just install it. To install it directly on the Oculus Quest, well, I did a how to say load guide on uh, the Oculus Quest. I'm gonna leave in the description below, but you can also use SideQuest. And uh, then we go in app and we look for RiftCut. That should be in the second page via Ridge over here. And we install the latest version. After that, it's very, very easy. We open the client and what we have to do is actually to go in the settings over here in the updates and select the beta because this is a still a beta version and of course you're not going to be able to have it in the stable version. You can always roll back whenever you want so don't worry about it. If you go into configuration you're going to find this game word part over here with all the options like uh, preserve fields, crash, preserve fit, uh, the work scale that is how far the screen is gonna be pretty much if you want to allow reprojection if your PC is not powerful enough and this is very interesting the game warp input so with that you can allow it it's a considered cheating in some games so maybe don't go online with them and you have all the option over here to have the head as a mouse for example and all the different options and to use your controllers directly for all the different things that you will do directly with your keyboard in this case you see the vive controllers because even when you use the oculus quest you are actually emulating the vive controller so uh, that's why they're showing this but uh, they're pretty much very similar the grip button is a grip button the trigger is the trigger and like that so then after configuring it what you have to do is like play game warp and you will open it and gonna start the stream granted that you have the app open on the oculus quest okay so what you have to do is to go on library and then to unknown sources because it's where we have our app installed and we go on vreach beta at this point if there is already running well it's gonna run here as well as you can see now i see a little of the screen 
and when I move my head, it kind of wobble all around. So what you have to do at this point is really just to start the game that you want to start. And as you can see, there's some uh, uh, artifacts on the side because we are using fix for the other rendering to don't have so much and to keep the latency as low as possible. And here we are in Fallout 76, as you can see. Now, as you can see, it's like if we have a screen very, very close and the quality it's, it's like streaming, it's like when you stream your Steam VR game, so it can be get better or worse. And uh, yeah, there's no real 3D, but because um, it's casted in the right way in your eyes, it's not that uncomfortable, I think. And you can look around a little uh, to check the stuff and then like uh, use your controller directly. Oh man, I'm not playing this game from freaking so long. Oh, there are a lot. Did I really break it? Okay, that was a little artifact. Yeah, I have to say that the latency is very, very low. So like, as you can see, it's very, very fast. Uh, now, for some reason, I can't get to work with the controllers. And well, here you have it. I tried different games. I actually tried Metro. I tried uh, GTA, uh, Metro Exodus, by the way, and of course, Fallout 76, as you saw. And I have uh, pretty much the same thing over and over where uh, the quality is actually good. It's good enough. Of course, you don't have the same resolution that you have with a regular monitor. In my case, that I have a pretty good monitor. I would prefer to use it with a monitor. But if it's not your case, if you have a small monitor or the resolution is very low anyway, well, it's something that you can try. And here, uh, also the connection to the PC is completely wireless. So you don't have to tangle uh, in different cables to play it. Uh, I couldn't get to work the controllers for some reason. Probably they're going to fix it in the next version that they told me that is already arriving but so far i'm very impressed by the latency that is very low because we know already that the latency was low enough to play vr games so it's great that they translated to uh, regular games as well to have this kind of quality and this kind of possibilities now i will not buy the app just for this game work beta i feel that it's a nice addition but um, is something that doesn't worth the price of the app, of course. If, if you have the Oculus Quest, the Oculus Go, and if you have Steam VR at the same time, well, it, it's pretty much automatic that you're already streaming some Steam VR games in there. Well, it's a completely great addition to this recipe, and I think it's very good indeed for the application. And yeah, so really, this is all. Uh, I wish there were some 3D capabilities, but at the same time, I don't complain that much because the latency is very low and it's not that uncomfortable to play in there. Like you don't get motion sickness. Of course, that may vary uh, from different people. But in my case, I don't usually enjoy to play uh, in front of a big screen in VR because I get a little motion sickness and I really can't stand the latency. Well, here the latency is very low, but you have to trade it with some quality. Also. Of course, it depends by your connection at the same time. I'm going to leave the links to everything in the description below. So check it out. And uh, yeah, that was all. A little disappointed because I was looking for something to substitute Forbes for a less price, but uh, it's not what we have yet. But it seems like they're working on it from the future. So I will keep you updated in that case. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I see you guys next video. Ciao.